Hello and uh, welcome to another video. Uh, and this time we're going to be looking at importing and exporting uh, player characters from Fantasy Grounds Unity. This comes up now and again uh, and uh, Derek from Fantasy Grounds has just been updating the wiki and he asked if I could do a, a video that would maybe accompany uh, that uh, article in the wiki. Um, so we've got a a campaign set up here uh, uh, as the dungeon master but this would uh, equally apply to a player who has created their own campaign but we'll come to the, the players uh, in a moment we'll concentrate first of all on the dm so uh, if the dm goes to uh, characters this is a, a clean campaign there's nothing in it nothing's been created um, and you have here the uh, add item uh, or character wizard which would take you to uh, the character creation but you can also import characters from another campaign so if you've made a character somewhere else in another campaign uh, that's on your computer then you'll be able to import that character into this campaign here uh, and we can do this just by clicking on the uh, import character button the little blue button down at the uh, bottom uh, right of the window there uh, and depending on how many characters you come up, you, you have created and how many campaigns you play in, uh, you'll see all the characters that you've ever created in any campaign uh, in this screen. And uh, now you can see I've got dozens and dozens of them. This is because I've got lots and lots of little campaigns that I use for testing stuff and all that kind of thing. So I've got lots and lots, but you may not have anything like this amount. Um, you'll notice also most of them are called Bob. But at any rate, um, what we can do here once we've got to the screen is we can uh, find the character that we want. We've got a search bar down here, so uh, we can refine the search to just the Bobs. Um, and then once we have found our character, we can just click on this little uh, green Add Character button. And down here it says pre-generated character added to campaign and we can keep doing this we can add as many as we we like so if you were the dm and you had created uh, a dozen characters in some other campaign uh, and you wanted to import them in here then this is how you would do it uh, and once we've uh, out of the screen once we've done all that go back into characters and here we have the characters uh, imported into your campaign so uh, importing a character uh, for the dungeon master is uh, as simple as that um, now if um, the dungeon master uh, wanted to export any of these characters um, then they can come to the uh, edit list button and if you click on that you will get a little blue arrow uh, down to um, uh, uh, at the bottom of uh, all the characters that are currently in the campaign. All we need to do is just uh, click on this. Um, we will get uh, a, a default Windows window. Um, so it, whichever whichever one um, it defaults to, you can change that. You can change it to uh, any uh, window you like, anywhere on your hard drive. Uh, anywhere on a flash drive, whatever, you can save it to wherever you like. Uh, all you need to do is give it a name. So I think we um, chose Bob. Uh, so we'll just uh, call it Bob uh, and we'll call it uh, a save. And it says that uh, exported records uh, for Bob. And if we have a look at the uh, file, we can see uh, Bob is sitting here in my uh, downloads uh, folder. Um, so let's have a look now how a player might import a character. So we'll push this to the side uh, and we'll start up a second instance uh, of uh, Fantasy Grounds and we'll be back uh, when that's done. Uh, so we've uh, joined uh, our game as a player here and uh, we would get this screen as normal, a uh, character selection screen. Uh, and we can see all the characters which are currently in the campaign. And these were the characters that we uh, loaded into the uh, DM's uh, campaign before we joined. So these are obviously available to be selected by the uh, uh, player. But if the player doesn't want any of these, wants a character of his own, then they too at this screen here have the import character button. And it's exactly the same thing. They just simply click on this import character button uh, and they will then get a screen which shows all the characters that they have 
on their hard drive. Um, now, of course, because this is um, me joining my own game, I have exactly the same characters uh, as I had uh, if I'm the, being the DM. Um, but uh, your in your case, you, as a player, it'll be different. And again, we can do exactly the same thing. We've got this little green uh, cross. We just simply uh, click on that. We add the character. The character gets added uh, to uh, the uh, player's view here. Um, and the character sheet then opens. And if we have a look at the uh, DM screen now, we can see that Bill uh, has been uh, added into the uh, characters. Uh, we've got the little uh, portrait up in the top left here, and we see that the uh, character is owned uh, by uh, Zacchaeus in this case, but it would obviously show the name of the uh, actual player uh, in your game. So this is how um, a player would import a character um, that they wanted to play um, when they join um, a DM's game. And this character could be a character which the player has created in any other campaign, including any that they've created themselves, or any campaign in which they have actually played uh, that character. Now, supposing the player wanted to import a character uh, which only existed as an XML file, just like the one that we exported earlier on. Um, if we go to the character screen here and we click on import character, um, that's all we can get. We can only see the uh, characters which are currently on the computer. There's no uh, import file button. Uh, so for that, the player would need to set up their own campaign and we'll be back uh, once they've done that. So our player is going to set up our startup fantasy grounds uh, uh, as normal, but instead of uh, the usual join campaign that you would do as a player, they're going to come in here and they're going to create campaign. Um, and then they're just going to give their uh, their name, their, well, <clears throat> their uh, campaign a name. Uh, we'll call it uh, manage characters, and then they're going to select the rule set that they want. And uh, of course, if they wanted to um, select the the theme or uh, whatever, then they can do all that uh, here as well. And then we just uh, start up the campaign. So our player has now uh, started up uh, their new campaign and because they own this campaign, because they've created it, then they're effectively, uh, they have the same tools uh, as the Dungeon Master would have uh, if uh, in the previous part of the video. So the player uh, can come in here, uh, they can go to uh, characters and they have got the same options to import the character as the DM did in the uh, previous uh, part of the video. And again, once we've got this uh, open up here, we can select any characters that we want from any campaign that the player has played in, uh, and they can add them to this uh, Manage Characters campaign. Uh, so let's uh, let's select that one there. We can see pre-generated generated character added to campaign. And if we go to Characters, uh, here we have, and we can go in here and we can edit this if we, we want. What you're able to do as a player with the demo license will, of course, depend on, or at least what uh, what you're able to do as a player will depend on what license type you have um, and how many of the books that you own, if you have anything other than a, a, a demo license. But you can manage your characters in here. This is the point that I'm trying to make. You can put all your characters into one campaign if you want to. Um, where you might want to set up a campaign for yourself as a player would be if you wanted to actually physically import a play a, a character uh, from a, an XML file. And if you notice that when we go to import character here, when we click on this uh, blue uh, up arrow, uh, once the uh, screen opens, we have another uh, arrow here which uh, says import character file. So if somebody has sent you a file or you have created a file uh, yourself from uh, some third party source or whatever, uh, then this is how you would import this character into this campaign. So we click on this import uh, button. Um, and again, <clears throat> this is taking me to the same place because this is my default, the downloads. And we can see we've got Bob here that we exported from the uh, DM uh, version. Uh, earlier in the video.
So in order to import Bob, uh, then we just need to click on it, and it just says uh, that the import records have been uh, added to this campaign. Um, <clears throat> and uh, if we close this and just go to characters now, and here we have uh, the imported Bob. Um, and he's there, we can give him a portrait and all that kind of thing. So we can keep uh, our characters or we can manage our characters, um, including importing uh, files uh, in this campaign uh, as a player. Now, just so it's easier to find these uh, characters again, uh, I'm going to uh, re rename them uh, to make their uh, names fairly obvious. Uh, and then we'll uh, test this out by going back to our uh, DM screen and player join. So we'll be back in a moment. Uh, so we're back in our uh, DMs game and we've joined uh, our game uh, as a player. Um, and we want to import the two characters that we just um, imported into our Manage Characters campaign. So once again, we go to uh, Import Character. And when the screen opens up, if we just search here for Import, and we see that we found our two characters, uh, Adam and Bob, and it tells you here what ca what campaign these characters can be found in, and you can see that they've been found in the Manage Characters campaign. So we just need to uh, add our character here. If we wanted to add the other one, we just go through the same thing. Uh, go to uh, Import again. It takes a while because I've got so many characters. Um, and we can uh, import uh, Bob as well. So we now have our two characters that we have in our Manage Characters campaign in our uh, DMs campaign. So one other thing I wanted to show you was importing uh, a character from uh, D&D Beyond. Um, so uh, this uh, here is the uh, utility uh, which uh, Forum a member has created, uh, which uh, helps you to uh, import a character from uh, D&D Beyond. Now, it, it isn't perfect, it doesn't uh, do everything, um, but it's it's a reasonable uh, thing. Uh, hello, uh, this is future me here. Um, uh, just uh, something that I completely missed uh, in the video um, is that up in the top of the uh, screen here, there are two buttons uh, which switch between Classic and Unity. Uh, so if you're working in Unity, then make sure that you have uh, selected the Unity button. And obviously, if you're using Classic, uh, then uh, make sure that you've uh, selected the uh, Classic button. Uh, this is probably why uh, some of the information in the character that I show in the video uh, didn't have uh, some uh, information in it. So make sure that you've uh, selected these buttons. I totally missed that uh, when I was doing the video. So uh, back to uh, past me. Thank you. Um, so the instructions are in this page. I'll link this down to in the comments below, but the instructions are in this page. And the important thing here is the character uh, ID. So if we go over to D&D Beyond, we've uh, created a quick import Bob character, uh, it's just uh, whatever. And if we look up in the uh, URL here, we can see the number for the character. So we need to uh, copy that number and then we need to uh, paste it into the section of the uh, web page here and then just simply click on get character uh, data. Uh, and we say, yes, this is correct. And the XML will appear here in due course. And there it is. And that is the uh, XML file for the character. Uh, once we've done that, we can just simply uh, download the XML. You can see that it uh, downloaded uh, here. If we go to our downloads page uh, here, here we've got import Bob XML. Uh, so our file uh, has now been downloaded onto our hard drive uh, from D&D uh, Beyond. So if we go back into uh, Fantasy Grounds now, and either as a player or um, 
the DM, it doesn't matter as long as you the player is in their Manage Characters campaign that we talked about earlier. We go to uh, Import Character and once everything loads, uh, we go to uh, Import Character File and here we've got Import Bob and we just click on that. It tells us that we've imported the record um, and if we uh, shut this down now and go to Characters, we can see uh, Import Bob is there. And here he is, he's a fighter and he's got all his stats. Now, not everything seems to, I, I, I don't use this myself, so I, this is kind of the first time I've actually used this, um, but it doesn't seem to um, take everything um, over. Uh, the, the backpack items haven't come over, for example. Um, and so there's a few things. So you would need to make sure that you check your character uh, carefully uh, after the import. Um, but it, it uh, does a job of importing uh, most of the stuff. Um, so uh, that's it. Of course, it, it, once you, if you were a player, uh, once you had imported Bob, you would import Bob into your Manage Characters campaign. And you would then uh, have that available when you joined any DMs game uh, using the procedure that we uh, showed you earlier in the video to import the character into uh, your DMs campaign. Uh, okay, I, I think that's probably about it. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers for now.